Yo, what is going on, you turn up shape, Tyro? Coming at you with some electrode action, electrode V action today. I was getting to the meme decks towards the end of formats, and Silver Tempest is coming up in just a couple days. So I've got a couple of memes coming your ways before uh, it does release. Electrode Asuyan, Asuyan Electrode V with the Tantrum Blast. It does also have a Solar Shot attack, but we don't actually use that. We only play four Capture Energy. We don't even play Grass Energy, so we couldn't use it. If we wanted to, for zero energy, we do 100 damage for each special condition affecting this Pokemon. Uh, and we get the special conditions on the Electrode with Parasex uh, ability, which puts both active Pokemon asleep and poisoned. And then we also play some spicy seasoned curry that burns our active Pokemon while also healing 40 damage. So we don't really care about the heal. Uh, it's sometimes a little bit clutch, but most of the time we're just using it so we can burn ourselves. I've had a couple of clutch moments with the healing damage, I'm not going to lie. But the Parasex does put us asleep. Uh, and when you're asleep, you can't attack unless you have a wind-up arm attached to your electrode. The Pokemon this card is attached, you can attack even if it's asleep or paralyzed. So that's the combo. Get the electrode set up, get the Parasect, put it to sleep, poison it, seasoned or spicy seasoned curry onto the electrode, get a wind-up arm up there, and then we're hitting for 300 damage, and they're poisoned. So we're doing 310 with that full combo. And then if we get the Radiant Hisuian, Hisuian Sneasler in play, the poison damage is doing two more damage counters in between turns. So we can hit for 330 damage max. And if they stay in the active and they stay poisoned, they got more than 330 HP for whatever reason. Nothing has more than 330 HP right now for the most part. Uh, if it comes back to our turn, they could get knocked out, take another 30 damage. So they're probably not staying in the active, <laughs> but they probably also don't have more than 330 HP. So that should be enough damage. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into some gameplay. If you guys enjoy the list, enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see some more content from me, be sure to subscribe. And uh, these, this gameplay that I'm about to show you guys is from the stream. I didn't have time to record some gameplay uh, separate from my stream recordings like I usually do. So it's going to be a little bit lower quality than normal here on the main YouTube channel. Um, but hope you guys enjoy it anyways. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Let's get into it. Go like this. And then pass. The biggest, the hardest thing to find. I mean, you gotta get the, the arms are hard to find, to be honest. That's like that. Maybe we should play Pokey Stops. Arch grabs your. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, you're right. Actually, it does grab Trodes. It doesn't grab. Par yeah, it, I thought it was like. In my head, I was like, it only grabs Parasex. Okay, maybe it wouldn't be terrible, actually. Rottle and Pokey Stops. Toolbox? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, maybe one, right? Yeah, maybe we should play one toolbox. Yeah, it does increase our odds of finding it by a decent amount, actually. All right, we'll play one toolbox. I guess there is a chance of whipping, so it's not like it's not like a fifth wind-up arm, but it's pretty close to it, I guess, for the most part. Yeah, we'll add a we'll add a toolbox. I I can't. I scam. No, I don't think I scam is making the. Making the difference. They left the air balloon dude punished with the with the top deck of the spicy curry. Absolutely bodied. They didn't do very much. Right, I'm gonna do this. You got a pretty fun and good Cinderace deck for me? Alright. Send it on Discord. I'll take a look at it. I'll consider it. I kind of want a Marnie, but they also didn't Colrus last turn, so... I don't want a Marnie that bad. Yeah, like, I kind of want a Marnie, but not too bad. Just like I just like kind of want a Marnie, you know? Not enough to actually Marnie, but enough to make me consider Marnie. -ing. They can cram you. Now we can Marnie. That's fun. I wish I could. I really want to keep my Roxanne around, but 
It was going to be hard to do. Bisharp, Gapejaw is sick to be honest with Gengar damage mover. Bisharp, what does Bisharp do? Is it a new Bisharp or a current Bisharp? What just pieces have left? Should I heal? I think I'm like debating healing this with the curry to be honest. <clears throat> I actually have to. Um, and I can actually do something weird here. So I need uh, poisons and sleeps both. I can actually do something weird here. I can go, I can do this. Oh no, now I'm asleep. <laughs> I need to retreat first. All right. I'm going to heal though. I messed that up. I messed that up. So what I should have done is I should have air balloon my active retreat. Poison sleep both. And then net reset. Now I have to get the stupid wind up arm. I really want to keep the Marnie, but I need a draw, so. I just fail. I really want to put Crobat in play, but putting Crobat in play wouldn't have been terrible. Gotta put Crobat in play now. Dude, I had the play too, and then I just like missequenced it. Our four arms. Come on, money. Do I want any of this? Not overly. I guess if they like KO'd my B barrel this turn, I'd want the, the do for that's oh, so that was a misplay. Mm. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Yeah, so I should have air balloon retreated, parasected itself plus the active, net reset the parasect. Go back to the active, heal with the thing, burn myself. Can I heal from burn like once, man? What the heck? Which is like the old ancient trait Gyarados. Oh, can I have two tool cards attached to it? That? What, do you have a double choice belt on it? You can also play the Galarian Rapidash that recovers from status conditions. No, because then I can't attack. The same attack as the Gyarados. What did the Gyarados do for each Magikarp in your discard pile? Plus 50 or something? That one? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in an okay spot now, but if they get like goon double pink on my Paris, I'm so well, no, then I could just go like, um, reach damage on bench magic card. Oh, okay. That one. Should I just KO their Sableye? Cause they're playing Giratina. Oh, we actually, are they playing Tina? I don't know. <laughs> I think they're playing Tina. So like boss KO on the Sableye is pretty good here. I still have not healed from burn, by the way. Um, exactly 30 grand for each game channel, all of your bench, uh, on yard. You could do, you can't do very much damage then. 30 plus 30. So you're looking at 210. Is there any way to get more damage than 20 on a? I guess you could put other stuff in play, and then how much? How much HP does a, a pawn yard have? Because you could use damage pump, <clears throat> bench other stuff, damage pump the damage over to the pawn yards. 
Okay, you can actually be kind. You could kind of be swinging, to be honest. Does it have? Oh, it has one twenty HP. Cringe. Dude, please heal from burned. This is so cringe if I don't heal from burned. Dude, I literally just die going into their turn. Going back into my turn. <laughs> Stupid electrode. How many flips is that? There's a 70 HP poniard, so you can put it down. Um, get up to three, four hundred. You lose the save alive, but you can beat other stuff. You lose the uh, zigzagoon and quick shooting are also. A... I don't think this is. Dude, damn! I'm getting wrecked by save alive here. Wait, do they even have ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight, nine, ten. Okay. It's definitely not Giratina. I think it's like a Lost Box. But it had the Mirage Gate and the Drapion like threw me off. Where I was like, I don't think this is Lost Box, but I'm pretty sure it is Lost Box. Okay. I'm gonna, it's going to be funny if they ping my active though. Maybe we can get one damage out of them. I'm just going after my squad. I just need to burn my. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm gonna go with the Marnie for sure. I don't have to do that yet. I just start with the Marnie. If I don't get the wind-up arm, but I get a curry, then I have to go the curry route. I want to just go the curry route. Good question. No, I, while when I have while I have the wind up arm, I feel like I should go the wind up arm route. Actually, as long as I remember to retreat. So I'm like gonna maybe take less damage than I would from the spicy curry. I'm also kind of like a little bit scared of getting a little bit scared of getting uh, vacuumed. I'm a little bit scared of getting vacuumed. But I don't know if they play how many vacuums they even play. <clears throat> deck desperately needs Skyfield. My deck? No, I don't think so. We're fine with our bench space. In Discord. Deck advice channel. Alright, Brett, I'll take a look at it. Oh, you can play Charizard, can't you? Why do you play so many Magma Basin, though? What do you need Magma Basin? Oh, it's that. Oh, it's a different Cinderace. Okay. I thought it was the one that wanted to go from the bench to the active. Did you make this all by yourself? Oh, no, I'm asleep. Okay, I'm woke. I don't have a. Alright. Um. There's no Marnies left, unfortunately. I mean, if they have the KO with Charizard, they just have it, right? There's nothing I can do. Did I get vacuumed? I got vacuumed, right? Yeah. I could go with a different electrode though. I don't know if that doesn't make a difference though, right? Swing. Like, does healing with the curry ever matter? I could heal my active for 20. 
other play they could have would be the goon play. How many net are they down? Down like no net. Maybe I should evolve. No, but then if they attack and they just KO this, then I wouldn't be able to do it. Well, it'd be enough to do KO a Sableye. Um, so it stops Sableye from going KO, KO. <clears throat> Does this heal 40? I guess this like is like a little bit better potentially to like stop a bunch of goon pings. I'm not gonna do this. Okay, so I think this is like the this is like the <clears throat> because they have they have used like no nets somehow. So if they have charged out, I always lose here. Hey, I just healed burned. Let's go. Yeah, so if they go Sableye KO Paris, then we just we still have a spicy curry to KO the Sableye. Yeah, they have Charizard though. That's what it was kind of expected at this point though. Uh maybe they don't have the fire energy. Never lucky. Yeah, definitely a tough matchup for sure. It's like maybe winnable. Um look at the Cinderace deck. Yo, we got the turn one coughing KO. That's actually super lit. <laughs> well, this deck can literally donk, can't it? function i never understood <clears throat> well you confuse sq and then they can't attack and then you win you confuse sq and then they will eventually get tails and then you win the game because you care the sq because any deck that plays sq has to commit so ev heavily to the sq strategy that they can't do anything else around the sq to like have anything else to do or if they're playing the, d the game besides uh skewing then you're winning how do i win from here though but this still seems like a terrible matchup. All right, more spicy curry. I mean, the curry is key for sure, but it still seems bad. All right, yeah, this is actually still, I need to like, I need to actually stay burned. This is actually when I want to stay burned. Okay. What is a fun cheap deck that doesn't have a uh, scoop of net in it? Good question. Do those even exist? All the, all the most fun decks have scoop of net in them. Is a Suyin Zora considered cheap? How much does it cost to put a Suyin Zora deck together? Like packs wise. Little Glarmine. All right, stay burned, stay burned, stay burned. Wait, they're gonna poison me. Bro, those fools, bro, they're gonna poison me. Let's go. <laughs> they followed right into my trap. No, heal the burned this time then. What the heck? Why not Parasect to confuse yourself there? Uh, because they, their wheezing says none of my abilities work, so I can't. Oh, the boy is back. Yeah, Weezing shuts off. Weezing, when Weezing's in the active, I have none of my abilities work, so. Got me with that hammer. They did get me with that hammer, that's true. I guess I do have two bosses as well, so I can go like boss parasect on some coffins potentially. And eventually I will draw. Oh, currently they deck out first. Yeah, they're currently decking out first, actually. The boss is pretty big, but I need it alongside a Parasect, but I guess I could draw and hope to find it. I think I should probably go for that play here.
Oh, wait, they're not going to do any more damage. I can attack with this Electrode right now. But then try to get the damage in on this Wheezy, but then they could evolve this before I'd be able to attack that. Um, they'll probably, they probably will be able to evolve the next turn. Um, okay. I'm gonna go for the boss. I'm not sure if it's correct, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna keep the air balloon though. Probably should just hold the arm. I actually don't know. Do you think if you uh, did a format versus format? That Sun and Moon was superior to Sword and Shield. What do you mean a format versus format? Like, how, like how good and enjoyable the set, the formats were to play throughout the set's existence. I want to be able to retreat to remove the poison. To be honest, that Paris. Cause I could also evolve the Paris to remove the poison to stop it from getting KO'd if they Marnie me here. But currently, I can retreat the Paris. Well, no, actually, I want to get poisoned, though. <laughs> what am I doing? I want to get poisoned. I don't know why I played it like this, to be honest. That's a misplay. Yeah, I'm, I want to get poisoned. I want them to poison me. I guess we could look at, like, each format, each sword and shield format versus each sun and moon format individually and, like, pick a winner each time and then decide, wait, what the fuck is this? Mill tank? No oh, shot, bub. The tank? I need like poison and confuse poison and sleep it to actually attack it. What the? This is so dumb. I hate this. What the? Fu All right. I don't know if this is correct to grab, right? It doesn't really matter right now. Um, I should have just sent up. I should have just sent up Electro there, though, because I want them to attack my Electro. Why do they hate my hate my Paris so much? What the fuck? All right, Troden pass again. All right, all right. Air balloon for options. Chilling. Pass. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sword and Shield versus Sun and Moon. What was? I don't even remember like all the Sun and Moon formats. Like, what were the Sun and Moon formats? What were the Sun and Moon decks? What is Sun and Moon? You know what I'm saying? I don't have many ways to retreat electrodes left. I'll be careful. Grom and ADP. But Sun and Moon is so much more than Pikram and ADP. Alright, so I can sleep and confuse this thing. Um, okay. I want to retreat this Electro. I don't want to use my capture to retreat it though. I just want to draw into a stadium with the risk. Maybe we'll find out. <clears throat> Cause then I want to save the energy to have another way to retreat. Nope, not worth the risk apparently. Um, all right, set this. Oh. Oh, that was me. Let's go. <laughs> like, when do you decide that a format starts? Like when the, when the first set for that block drops, right? So it'd be like the, for the first Sun and Moon set on. 
Dude, my gosh. Your deck is so cringe. Yeah, so like immediately when the first Sun and Moon set drops, like that's that. Uh, I mean, so far I would say Sun and Moon is definitely better than Sword and Shield for sure. I guess Sword and Shield ends with the next set. Yeah, Sword and Shield wasn't that good. <laughs> Just consider the block. What do you mean consider the block though just the cards that are in the block but it doesn't tell you how good a format is unless you actually play the format because like there's formats with previous blocks with the current blocks but that was actually so good for me why would they ever do that that boss play was so good for me i could have quick balled away the manaphy and drawn one card and it's still sleeping let's go fuck you mill tank we actually might be able to win this then Because the Miltank dies going into our turn. Okay. Insane. I got to deal with the Wheeze. Go net. Send up. Hurry. Swing. Swing. <clears throat> Crown Genius is all reprints? No, it's not all reprints. There is some... Real cards, some real good, some real cards that might be good. We don't know if it'll be good, but how many do I have? One curry left. I have one curry left. The two prize cards. Or if they poison me, I can attack. So we're chilling. If, oh. I currently deck out first. How am I decking out first now? Did I mess up? I think I had to have messed up to make that happen. I should never be decking out first unless I misplayed. I also have a boss, though. I don't have the boss now, though. Oh, what the fuck? Why are they just doing that? Why are they doing that? What the heck? They just do this. I need a waste to move electrodes though. I actually need to play for the win now. I don't think I'll ever need wind up arm, but I'm not 100% sure. So I should hold it. I'm going to hold this as well because I don't want to replace the stadium. They have a lot of Pokemon, a lot of energy in hand. So I don't think I'm going to Marty them. I could barn here. Oh, that's my last net. Oh, shoot. This is getting close. Let's go. <laughs> They're stay staying asleep. They didn't really do anything last turn. So I could have Marnie here, but I knew they have two energy and two Pokemon. They attach an energy. All right, let's hope they sleep a little bit longer. Okay, we can put him back to sleep though. This is my last, this is not my last Parasect, but it's close to my last Parasect. I have a rod left, right? Yeah. All right, we need him to stay asleep one more time. Please sleep. Let's go. <laughs> I think they messed up to begin with by even putting the mill tank in the active. Let's go, the mill tank's dead. Oh my gosh. We swing for 100 damage currently. I'm actually like, oh, we can check with this though. Oh, wait, they sent up the coughing. What the fuck? They had to send up this. I thought they, that's what I thought they sent up was that wheezing. Mm, two wind up arms. They didn't prize any though. So I should probably go with the Paris. I could just go a second throw and put some arms on them because the curry KO is the active. And are they ever going to retreat out of the goon? I don't think so, right? Well, I don't know what they're playing, though. Let's hit the Paris, I guess. At least my Roxanne again sucks. If they're playing like a... Well, they have... 
Okay, what the heck are they playing? I don't know. So I was playing at a local. I was uh, winning, winning turn two to three with Logos uh, Diago Lasso deck. Wish I was there. Why do you wish I was there? This, guy, this guy's weak to grass, isn't he? Okay. Well, but is this Samrod or is this Eternatus? I can see it being Eternatus. <clears throat> I'm your idol. I appreciate it. You wanted me to be there to watch you stomping kids with the Alga? <laughs> uh, I really don't think the three best decks from Sword Shield could compete with Sun and Moon. I don't think that's the discussion that's being had in chat, though. It is interesting how that kind of that could be possible, though. Marnie, sure. Want a quick ball away? Dude, I hate losing my Roxanne, but for this matchup, it shouldn't matter too much, hopefully. Gotta deal with Wheezing again, though. Sam Wheeze. Sneeze. Double Goons? Their bench is so ugly. It is so horrendous. It's gross. Maybe gross is a better word than ugly. I don't know. Their bench is gross. I think we should hit him with that curry. Heal that 10. What a stupid card. It was literally like made for Blissey. <laughs> Spicy curry so dumb. Alright. Um, does Sneasler matter for this thing? No. I don't even really want to bench this, to be honest, but I do want to draw cards. That's weird. As much as that doesn't even feel that good. Uh, I doubt they play Tool Scrapper, but they could, so we could just chill with that wind-up arm, I guess. They, I mean, they, I don't know. Do they play Vacuum or Scrapper ever? Nothing is stopping them from being able to do it. Sickening, Repulsive, uh, Abhorrent. Yeah, one of those. Yo, we could play one of these to basket catch to get our wind-up arms. What do you think, chat? Good idea. Thanks for testing out. Or basket, is it basket crash? Basket crash. What does that mean? Does that mean like there's someone walking around with a basket of tool cards and Samurai V crashes into them and then steals the tool cards from them? Like what is, what does that mean? What is happening? Why are they crashing baskets? It's me on Easter ruining the days of small children. <laughs> Ever heard of a tool basket? Well, tool, not a basket. I mean, I, I can exist, sure. It's just not real, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's fake. What you're saying is fake. Yeah, we're literally... This is... We're actually going to wreck them. This is this is already over. Oh, the boost shake? Yo, chill out. Ebs online. Now they're toast. Um, I, mean, I don't know if they play a stadium or not. We just chill. Kind of want to net this out of play, the Sneezler, because it's not relevant for the matchup. I guess we could do that. Net Sneezler. Capture here. 
set up second B barrel. Yeah, I like that, I guess. <clears throat> I've heard of tool. That's what I was. That's the word I was thinking of. I've heard of tool box. That's like, what the fuck? There's like another word for tool stuff. <laughs> tool box. I've heard of a tool box like this. I've never heard of a tool. I've never heard someone use tool basket as a way to describe something that you put tools in. A basket is a hilt design for specific swords. Oh, is it? I wonder what that's in, what that's in reference to then. Samurai have swords. Hmm. Doof chase. All right. I'm gonna crash my basket again. Hitting us with the hilt of a sword. Okay. Well, no, they're not. They're using the hilt of a sword to go search for two tool cards. So, not quite. Ah, uh, the wheeze. Yes. Oh, I forgot about having to deal with wheezing, to be honest. We have both our boss left, so we can just wait until we top deck it. Oh, wait. I could have toolboxed uh, into an air balloon. I probably should have done that, to be honest. I'll do that now. Yeah, I'll do that now. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll toolbox for an air balloon or attempt to. Or my bad, tool basket. Well, they also deck out first, so I don't have to be too worried about, like, draw passing for a while if I have to. I wonder if they even play a stadium, or if I can just put... We just put turf field... They play four boost shakes, so it's mostly a wheezing deck, then. They're trying to get, like, turn one wheezing, and then Samurai's kind of the follow-up. Sam discards two tools, not surges. Oh, wait, does it? Oh, what the heck? I thought I searched your deck for two tool cards. What the heck? I'm just tripping. Yeah, I thought I searched your deck for two tool cards. All right. Um. Ooh. Uh, well, you see, the thing is. That's so bad. I get knocked out going back into their turn. That is so bad. Uh, huh. Wait, I could heal? Is this correct? Is this a genius? The big brain curry? We burn ourselves to heal 40 to pass and not die? Yeah. Big brain curry plays. Live by 20. Insane. Actually, that's like such a big deal though. Oh wait, what does this do again? Well, it forces the Moon Cleave Star, I guess. Yeah, I guess I still died a Moon Cleave Star. <laughs> Damn, that uh, toolbox whiffing was kind of uh, unfortunate. Rather unlucky. It's fine, though. We'll be all right. Oh, they only have they have four car. I could just let I could just let them deck out to be honest. If I just play to not lose, I would literally just win at this point. Four cards in deck, four cards in hand. I start to start drawing some prize cards. They maybe have a couple Marty left. How many do they use? One. They might play an ordinary rod. Yeah.
be kind of annoying if they poison us. Not really though, right? It'll be fine. We get a spicy curry plus knockout. Um. Grab another Paris. Oh, I don't have another Tro to work with anyways. Oh shoot, that's actually really bad. Should I have even got that? Because I might need a Crobat now. We can get off the prize cards still, I guess. Oh, we're likely to get off the prize cards. Oh, wait. Oh, am I just trolling here? Now, how do I? Ca I can't want to kill the Crobat. Okay, they're going in with the Samurott. Wait, did I have this heavy ball in hand? Dude, I am I'm just trolling this one so bad. <laughs> did I have heavy? Wait, no, I pulled heavy ball, right? I definitely just got heavy ball off the prize cards. Right? Maybe? Maybe not. I think I'm still trolling here. How many curry do I have left? Oh shit, I'm out of curry, but I have all my boss left. That was the prize. Okay, good. I'm like freaking out over. It. I'm like, wait. I hate it when that happens. When I like, I like, I don't have a. All right. I think I, I didn't even like think too hard about my hand, but I was like, okay. I think I, I played my hand out correctly, and then I play it out, and I'm like, wait a second. I could have played this card. Was this a prize card? I'm just like not fully paying attention. They're just decking out. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> if I have Marty, I win. Oh no, wait, they get two prize cards. They get two prize cards. They get two prize cards. Okay, so they let me KO this, which is nice. Turn this up. Heavy ball. The last guy. I'm pretty convinced they don't play a tool removal. So they could definitely have like a rocks. Well, they can't rock sand next turn because then they would deck out. So they're not going to rock sand me. They could Marnie. No, because if they play Marnie, they would also deck out, right? So they have to go Rod plus Marnie, maybe? Hmm, I guess. They are weak to grass, so we do knock them out. I don't mind grabbing this now, because it'll keep my eyes of top decking. here I'll put the wind up arm in play I have another one in the deck so I might as well I feel like yeah because I have another one in the deck I think it's fine too I think we're chilling electric mill is pretty sick yeah definitely uh unexpected unexpectedly broken so we're out of we're out of curry, so I can't want to KO this. We could trap it in the active by putting it to sleep though. And we can get um We just need boss. We just need boss. We win with boss. We can draw quite a few cards out of this hand right now. We have two boss left in the deck, and if not, we put them to sleep and hope they can't move. They boss. Oh, that's actually um I win with Marnie now, though. No, I don't, because I'll have five cards. Damn it. All right. But do they have to switch, though? No, they have to switch. Oh, they just messed up. Well, I don't know if they had another energy or not, but they have to switch. So now we just win. Beautiful Queen Chase was definitely annoying, though. Free dub, free dub. That was, like, getting kind of scary at the end there, though, because that Crobat was... Uh, <laughs> that Crobat's pretty big. Got a lot of HP. Who the fuck would play Eternatus? It makes no sense. I guess it's just the sleeves, right? The sleeves, I was like, okay, they played Eternatus. Um... 
pass for now. I could have put the wind up energy, uh, wind up arm on the active, but so they're playing some kind of loss zone cheese. Yeah, definitely some kind of loss zone cheese. They might get crammed here turn one, and they also might play vacuum. So I don't want to put the wind up a uh, the wind up uh, arm in play yet. Flowers. I think it's still be playing a turn. Just this is true. They could. I think it's a little bit unlikely though. Don't don't ask me how I know that, but uh, I'd be guessing they do not play uh, Eternatus. We'll see though. Could be wrong. I really don't want to put this in play, do I? It doesn't really do anything. Do I know that? Um, don't worry about it. It's not for you. That's not for you to know. I might really don't have to do it. So we can cap out Man of Feet to protect our bench. Wind up. Spicy curry. And yeah, I don't really want to bench this Sneasler. He's kind of a snitch. Um. Did hold a I wouldn't mind Marnie. Yeah, sure. It's like not that strong here. Like I know one of the cards in their hand is Comfy, and I know they don't have a Colrus. Eh, maybe that's just incorrect to do, actually. Maybe. Might not be though, you know. Double B barrel is kinda good. Double B barrel doesn't setting up double B barrel on this deck doesn't feel like good, but they could save like KO1 at one point, so I don't really want to give them that option. Um <laughs> Just give up this. I'm just gonna go get another pair of setup. Yo, look at this board state. It looks so clean. This is the opposite of a disgusting board. Very clean board. I could have put the air balloon in play, but I don't want it to get vacuumed. I don't know. It's gonna chill. I'll put it in play before I'm Marnie next turn. Lost box E turn for next dude stream. <laughs> yeah, what was that Eternatus deck? Slap, was that one of your decks? ADP Eternatus, was that it? Dinner with Jay Z or this board state? Probably this board state. <laughs> Why is it always Jay Z? <laughs> could, I, could I like theoretically pick any celebrity? I don't even know if I'd pick a celebrity. Like, I wouldn't even pick a celebrity. I don't really care about... Um, well, I guess, like, anyone who's, like, famous as a celebrity. Who am I, like, a fan of? Who would, like, who would I even want to sit down for dinner with? I don't even know. Who would I even want to sit down with and have dinner with? Who's, like, a famous person who I'm, like, would be curious to talk to? Um, Tyler one. No, probably to be honest, probably someone like Mr. Beast. Um, I don't even watch Mr. Beast videos, but I would be interested to like talk to them. Dinner with Torta, doing Jay-Z. Jay-Z, definitely. Torta's just a nerd who's good at Pokemon, bro. I would much rather... I hang around with nerds who are good at Pokemon all the time. I would much rather have dinner with Jay-Z. Okay. <laughs> no, I wouldn't ask Mr. Beast for money. Have dinner with Donald, the old Pogetuber. I don't want the old PokeTuber. 
Oh yeah, what was it? Uh, Dark Integral. I was like trying to think of the name. I was like, I know, Don I know who Donald is. Yeah, probably. I'd mean, say someone like Mr. Beast. I wouldn't know for sure, but like someone like that. Just interested by their, uh, you know, kind of by what they do. Um, I guess we just hit him with the, the Paris. I can't lie, we're kind of farming them right here. But borrow. I don't know about discarding double research there. Though. That's like a lot of draw support because I am gonna Marnie here because I want to conserve these cards. But I don't. I don't want that. That's a big hand. I shouldn't. They're not allowed to have that. Hmm. I feel like I really need that. I really need a net reset uh, this thing. Hmm. Failed. Okay. Maybe it's not that big of a deal, but I wanted to. Maybe it's not that big of a deal that I actually do it. I have dinner with my past self so I could see into the mind of a genius. <laughs> what? So you're saying you're not a genius now, Slap? Or just like for you to fully understand how much of a genius you are, you'd have to talk to yourself. But why not your future self? Why your past self? Unless you're saying your current self is not a genius. Yo, what's up, kicking? You fell off. <laughs> you haven't made any ADP Eternus decks recently. You're right. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm getting stabilized. Bad. Oh, they can kill my Paris and my Electro. My hand is just kind of cooked as well. I couldn't get that freaking net on the... I have four net in the deck, I think, as well. I have four net left. It's good to recognize when you've fallen off those slaps. That's very humble of you. Oh, shoot. A Goonping is getting involved? That can't be a good thing. So what are they KOing here? Oh, what's happening? What's happening? We're still poisoned though, so I guess they don't they're gonna KO my active though, right? I feel like they are. Oh, okay. That goon ping was just a waste then. I don't know why they they just shouldn't have goon ping. That was cringe. Cringe ping. <clears throat> okay, but now the the Raikou is getting involved, which is really annoying. Okay. I want to kill the Sableye. Getting close. It's getting close. I can get my rod plus recover though. Yo, what a draw. <laughs> we just drew the freaking nuts. Okay, so we can go rod. Um, I don't need an electro though. Net reset. Oh, I didn't need to play the net yet because that's one for one. So that's a misplay. I'm not really keeping up too well with the my misplay counter today, but it's fine. I do want to net reset this stuff I can. Maybe I should even put this wind up arm in play to try and get it. How many arms of winding up do I have left? Uh, this is only my second to last one left. I should probably hold it. So Clefairy at Warsaw. I mean, I honestly, to be honest, every time I play the Weird Deer Clefairy deck, it, I don't think it's that bad. Like, there's a, I don't know. The deck might just be good, to be honest. We stay humble. The grind set requires it. Trust the <laughs> Yeah, every time I go back to play Weird Deer Donk, it doesn't... The deck just, like... The deck's not bad. The deck is, like... I think the biggest thing is... Um, oh, the biggest thing for the deck is... 
Fucking Sableye again? This is so cringe. Do I have Marnie or Roxanne? Dude, I never get to play. I think I should put like a second Roxanne in here because I always discard it. I always lose my Roxanne. I should probably try a little bit harder to not discard it, but it usually gets discarded to a research. Man, I think I'm actually going to lose this game. I did not think I was going to lose this. I thought I was in a really good spot. But now we're getting kind of wrecked. Oh, shoot. Are they just goon pinging to goon ping at this point? Oh, no, wait, they might have one net left. Oh, they're out of nets. Stop. Why would they just net reset their goon? Does that change anything? Maybe now I do enough poison damage to my active where... Okay, here, let's see what they do. Oh, so they can just focus as much damage on my active as possible. Okay. So I just lose now. I just lose. I can't win because... Uh, I could attack with a fresh... Electro? No, then they just do 120. No, wait, 120 doesn't KO this. So I could go... Uh, hold up. Does that work? I have no way to retreat, though. The cap's there. Last cap's prized. Oh, I could spicy curry. Oh, I could curry him. So we got to go hard for the curry. Okay. And then if they have boss, they would win, I guess. Oh, well. Can't do anything about boss, though. All right, so we need some curry. I need, I need another one though. What if I boss KO this though? If I boss KO this, do I just win? Then I just get like another spicy curry and then I win. So the most I can get to would be plus 40, which means 130. Uh, boss KO this much is winning the game, to be honest. Maybe I should just boss that then. So I can go like... Boss. Oh, I'm about to be barrel draws. Blast them. If I had never reset this thing, Greninja could have won. Oh, no, but how do I win if Greninja now just swings? Oh, shoot. Uh, This is still a really bad spot, actually. I don't have a boss left, do I? No, I do have a boss left. Okay, okay, okay. So because we have boss left for chilling, they can boss... No, not, no, they can't because they just decked out. So that means they, they probably have a play. Because I have scoop up nets. I can scoop up net my B barrel. We won. I think we got him. Let's get it. Well, did we? Oh, I don't think they can. Oh, no. Oh, I lose. I have 140 HP left. What the fuck? Yeah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Dude, why do I always stay burned? Oh, no. So we did need second. I needed second. I needed to either get heads or get second curry. 